Hello everyone, this is Flosscat, and welcome back to another free video about the whole GP Read story. And, oh boy, how I have to talk about this one. This one's very interesting, as we finally get some a lot of new info on what's been going on, and it definitely hits the very interesting flag to me in a very lot of ways. So, pretty much, there's a lot to take in and to go down on both Naomi's, GP Reed's, and even, even Mikey Lugo, which is definitely something very interesting. So, I don't know how all this is going to play out, but let's just go ahead and first watch the first video. That is the big main draw here, and that is the revealment of what's going on. Here it is. Now, I can understand from there, that is very big deal, as being there's three things worth knowing. A, Naomi does know about the house fire, which is a very big deal. <coughs> and the they, I think is one of his old friends, because if you recall correctly, there was a fire that happened at one of their workers' office, and it's possible that they did that in a way to destroy his work. Who this they is still unclear. I think they are referring to, you know, his old friends before they started separating and all that. Which is a very long story, but to make a long story short, he has four friends in the stories, for those who are not, who are new to this series. He has four friends and all of them separated due to circumstances. And then all of a sudden, a apartment in a factory fire happened. And possibly one of them could have been... The ones who, you know, made that fire happen. And that's the thing, too. This does confirm the fact that one of them did do the fire, but it does seem like Naomi could have not done the fire, which I thought it was, you know, because of my back of what I thought Naomi was beforehand. But it is specifically strange how they know that. And, of course, they talk about the whole jealousy thing and blah, blah. But here's what I think is going on here with this video. And yes, I am going to skip the end a little bit, but that's all the more technical stuff of what his work is. Pretty much, they might be his new employers, and that's why he has to now, you know, da-da-da. And one of them is actually part, was the grandfather he is working towards. You know, because remember, KB Reads is, actually is trying to make up for what that grandfather was trying to do because that grandfather was his friend and it's apparently see that his granddaughter has joined Naomi which now makes sense on why he's so desperately changing the script a little bit though I still don't think there gotta be another deadly motive in actuality there is and we'll get to that however there is one big thing worth noting one of the last person you heard, if I'm correcting for recording or not, but, you know, the one that starts with the letter N, 
which is literally his name is N, like the freaking N from Pokemon, matched the color too, is pretty much sounds familiar and even look familiar. Hell, he looks exactly like the shadow for shadow for, you know, GP Reed's own thing. And just much more bigger. Now, is it really him? Well, there actually is something. And P.S., before I continue, yes, I know this is still him doing all that. We all know this is an ARG. But I just want to point this out because it sounds so familiar to this person. Yeah, that was, that voice is actually the sloth rock suited guy from the Nyo, the Nanamo, however you pronounce that last video, you know, the one I reacted to that had a man sleeping, which I still to this day have no idea how a conscious man can able to do blah blah blah, but that was the same, which begs the question, because we all know that is still Keepy Reeves, he's just doing that, my question is, and this is, and P.S. I know good and well that Grant doesn't have this. Of course he doesn't. But I wonder if he could have a, either a split personality disorder, which is obviously not true, just more characterized to the ARG, by the way. Or could he... Could there be actually another clone to... to Naomi's cast? Because we do recall he did clone Mikey. That is a fact, and we'll get to that part in a bit, because I'll explain in a bit. And could there have been a possible reason that N could be a clone to, of course, T.P. Reads? Because N could make a number of sense. He could count as the Unity, because it has the letter N in it, and it could be the first clone they've done, or it could be anything. Of course, I'm jumping the surface here, but there's no denying that if Naomi is a group and GP Reed is now joining them, it could be possible that was the case. But I'm not so certain about it. I do think it's more of a robot than split personality disorder. And believe me, believe it or not, split personality disorder is a thing, and we'll get into this in a bit. But it definitely is strange. In a sense that it's very weird. But either way, this does make sense. Now, going back to what they said earlier. Is the fact that they said, told him about, you don't want this woman or person blood on his head. In key word, they did said it was a female. Now, what are they talking about? Well, that leads us to the next most bizarre video I have ever seen so far from this series other than the other ones and it's definitely a strange video to say the least but I do have some explanations on what's going on because I think I know exactly what they're talking about and going on here just my question is is the fact that what the heck is even what here it is Yeah, so to quickly explain, because I bet five bucks you didn't really hear that, because sorry, it was my own fault because it's phone and blah, blah, we all know why. Um, pretty much they, they use Mikey Lugo and say that they have to find three pets, two female, one male, and I think that the pets in question, by the way, are cats. And the way I say that is, as we saw from the Naomi thing, from their Instagram, they post a lot of cats on there, which I believe that is the case. However, 
Well, I do think that's very interesting. The biggest thing here is this. That's right. You weren't blind with the flashing. And that is what appears to be a woman in a hospital bed, literally tubed up. And I'm going to try to freeze frame them each time, so hold on for a second, because there's a lot of imagery. Note that one of the imagery is already on the title card of this video, being the whole moth thing, but that's normal for Naomi. However, here's another interesting thing to look at. Yeah, so this one is obviously what it is, and actually dis disturbing. I didn't spot this spot until now, but holy crap, that is a head that's been surgerized. And I think that's gotta be the girl, but I don't know, but that's just creepy as fuck. But yeah, that's the surgery going on. And then there's the two girls right there, which I believe also the medicine and a bunch of other stuff. And, yeah, their house looks a little wrecked. And, of course, that's not all. There was candles and all that. Let me see if I can pause it towards it. Yep, here it is. The candles that are definitely weird. And I think that this could be the area that we first seen. If you guys recall how they called at me and blah, 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 that video. I think that's their area right there. And there's a lot of blood and worm. God, geez, this is giving me some one that vibes, which I still have to make that video, blah, blah, blah. But still, he. And there's a there's others, but I'm not going to keep freeze frightening. It's just another shot of the girl in the hospital bed. I already put it on my Instagram and blah, blah. And again, there's that moth thing. So, what does this all mean? Well, there's a couple of big things worth noting. So, first off, as for the girl in the thing, it's pretty obviously that that's the girl they're referring to. That's the girl that they're saying that GP Reeves do not want blood on their hands. And I bet five bucks that that is the trash we've been working, looking for. Note that he has blonde hair and blah, blah, blah. Blonde hair, I guess she's young and blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I'm using a lot of blah, blah. It's just trying to spread it out a little bit. But that's the crest we saw in the missing thing. And we do know that GP Reed is connected to her in some way. And he's looking for her. So they have pretty much kidnapped her. And I have no idea what's going on. Now, it could be not just kidnapping. But they pretty much, what's going on here is pretty obvious. They have her at ransom. And he has to do whatever they, he needs to in order to make her feel better and blah, blah, blah. Now, the reason why you go beyond using kidnap is, again, we have the missing posters. And then all that. The second image is pretty obvious, being that someone's been surgically removed. I don't know who, but that's pretty much just showing the operation of, you know, someone getting the operation, which is kind of disturbing how he slipped that by, but whatever. And, yeah, it's that gruesome, and it just goes point on how they do it. I mean, at this point, they're not even lying, but there's two problems with that, as we'll soon see. Being A, why on earth will you show that if you're trying to spread out a mech is saying that you lost two cats, I mean three cats or pets or whatever the fuck they are. And B, even then, why would you show that literally as you're trying to say your thing is harmless when in reality that looks painful as fuck. And then there's the candles which literally just showcase the whole cult crap. And, again, I don't even know what that stuff is. I don't know if that's literally part of the brain or the organs or whatever. And then we get even weirder with two girls and a that's sleeping together in a house. Now, there is two theories I can put out. A, that could be the two girlfriends. A, friends, not, you know, not lover or whatever, blah, blah. The two friends that Jibri had, because I do remember in the story they would visit each other. Or B, they could be just more t test subjects. Which kind of confirms more things about the so-called crap everything. Which is very sane. Now, as for why I think this is more of a Mikey clone than a regular Mikey, is because, again, he has stated in the past, he thinks it has been cloned, and I have proof of that, blah, blah, blah. But it still is very vague on what the hell is going on. 
I'm more surprised. If it is Mikey who did that, then my, I'm more surprised than blah, blah, blah. Because he did state that he'll be doing a video about Naomi. Didn't expect that. But, you know, that's the other thing. The last thing I'll show before anything's off is just a journal entry that got me intrigued. Because it has one of them being split personality, which confirms that one of the Naomi's is split personality. And he reveals something very interesting. Before I do show it though, it is worth note, but you know, I kind of want to skip this, but I decided not to. But they did say, guess your mind, and please skip now scrubbing the brain, blah, 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 which is disturbing, just FYI, you see that? That's literally just being truthful. Anyways, let's continue. Yeah, that person's backstory, and by the way, sorry I switched it out, but that person's person's split personalities is named Charlotte. That is very big. Now, I don't remember why is that name is very big, but I think that was one of the names of G. Reed's friends, so that's a big red flag. But, again, just want to point that out, just in case it miss. And we all know that I usually skip these journal things. The last time I didn't skip one again, but that, because the last time was actually very interesting with its ending, just F FYI. But that one had nothing too much, but it just shows what's going on. So, to sum up what I learned so far, and pretty much what I learned, is so far, I'm pretty much the only person right now that's dosing some bullshit going on. Just FYI. Because now G.P. Reed has now, we can see why that is official portray, but he didn't do it on purpose, he needs to. Because now we can figure out what the hell is truly going on. And here's so far how I can build the story. As of now, with the whole Naomi crap. So, Naomi is a group who states that they're not a cult, which I think I hate to say it, but I think they truly believe this, and they may very well be not a full-fledged cult. I think there's more of a very bad organization who's not do Like, I feel like they're a black market... Black market... You know, job. Or a black market... Black market company who's trying to use a new technique with... You know, black market surgery. However, it's failing and... The reason why now G.P. Reed is trying to promote this is because Cress, the little girl we just saw in the bed, is literally in their care. And the only way he can literally get her the best treatment, even though if that's the case, if he's doing it literally willingly and go to them, which is crazy, he needs to do what they say. And even then, the point is, it could be possible that Cress could have been kidnapped. And, you know, now Naomi's just holding it for ransom. And as for Lu Mikey Lugo, I'm still under depression until confirmed, proven, whatever, that he was cloned in this. But then again, I could be wrong because, again, we still don't know about that situation with the whole joining Naomi crap. And I don't even know what to say anymore. This has just got interesting as fuck. Like... To be frank, I am enjoying this series, but my only thing I am kind of interested, I mean, I'm not, I don't know what to say, really. I am just impressed on how all this stuff is going on, and really, this is a well done thing, really. I keep saying that every episode, but I can't deny that this has been big. So, yeah. Now, before I leave, I do want to explain why I didn't caught this way sooner. Well, there's multiple reasons. A, I would have done this on Thursday, actually. 
but, you know, what happened on first day happened, and, you know, and Friday I didn't have time because I still want to put that Pio Pio Tetris thing up, so blah, blah, blah. So I decided to do it today after I get done with the Pokey movie, which I also have planned, but, you know, that was scrapped until today. So, pretty much sorry for delay, but the other reason why I delayed it until, well, it has been Thursday, but until today, of course, was because I needed to hold off because there wasn't much information yet on that thing. But good thing I did, because holy crap, there's a lot to impact with that, and I just reached another 20 mark with my videos today. I had a two for two today. But still, this is definitely a very interesting thing, and I can't wait to see how it goes. I don't know who to trust now, because... Uh, it's definitely a big, fat, uh, like, he's... But, if you need anyone to trust in this crazy civilization, you can count on me, because I'm not stopping until we can finally explain this very interesting, complex ARG as best we can. Anyways, this is Fluxta, and I'm definitely snapping the crap out of here. Bye bye